Welcome to this video on question number 10, last question in the exam of May June 2012 paper 41, which is a request of um, fly leaf fly. I would love to have a word with the person who kept this name, but anyway, uh, let's start with the question part A. We are given a solid metal cone with a radius 9 cm and a vertical height of 24 cm. In part A, we have to calculate the volume and it is so nice to give the equation which is required in the exam. Thank you so much to the examiner. Uh, so part A is very simple. Volume is equals to 1 over 3 pi. R, uh, R square radius is 9 cm squared and height is 24 centimeter and this will give you 2035.75 and so on and to three significant figures I can say this is 2043 significant figures okay and now let's have a look at part B a cone of height 8 cm is removed by cutting parallel to the base leaving the solid shown above show that the volume of this solid rounds to 1960 correct to 3 significant figures okay so what we have done here is that they have cut somewhat this much cone right yeah. and this the, the height they have cut is 8 cm so we have this much remaining which is of 16 centimeter right so in this part they want us to calculate the remaining volume of the shape so we cannot directly calculate the remaining volume of the shape because this shape is not a cone but we know the volume of the cone given the equation of the volume so out of the full cone how much is removed is 8 centimeters height of cone so if from the full cone we remove the height of uh, the 8 centimeter height of cone we will get what is remaining which is required okay but before we do obviously we need to know the height and the radius the radius as you can see or observe that it will be a bit less than 9 centimeter because it's a bit less uh, it looks also a bit less and we have to calculate that so let me just uh, draw some ratios height is to radius okay when my height was 24 centimeter the radius opened from 0 to 9 centimeter right and now my height is only 8 centimeter how much the radius will open so I will just cross multiply and I will have 24 X is equals to 9 times 8 and X is equals to 9 times 8 over 24 which is equals to 3 so my radius for the new cone is 3 centimeter okay so I will use the same formula which is um, volume is equals to 1 over 3 pi r square my r this time is 3 times the height height is already given which is um, 8 yeah Eight, and this will give me 24 pi and the height of the sorry not the height the volume of the full cone initially was 648 pi or, or you can use the number I just want to be more accurate you can use the number it's fine so if I remove this small co uh, small volume of the small cone so I will have the remaining which which is what we are looking for right so if I remove this I will get 624 pi right very simple and 624 pi in numbers you will get 1960.35 and so on and you can show this then then it rounds to 1960 to three significant figures right now let's have a look at part D sorry part C where is part C okay let me just go down 1960 centimeter of metal solid in part B is melted and made into five identical cylinders now identical 
is a bit important each of length 15 centimeter show that the radius of each cylinder rounds to 2.9 centimeter correct to one decimal place okay we had this much of volume and this is now equally divided into cylinders okay I'm not really good at drawings okay five cylinders okay so 1960 is now divided into five identical cylinders identical means they are all equal so the volume will be shared all equally so 1960 divided by 5 will give us 392 so the volume of the cylinder is equals to 392 centimeter cube okay and we know the formula because all we have is volume so we have to use the formula of volume to find something because we do not have any other information right so volume of cylinder is equals to pi r square times height or length in this question we are given the length which is 15 do we have the volume yes we have the height and what is remaining is radius and that's what we are looking for so it is we just have to substitute the values so volume is equals to 392 is equals to pi r is what I am looking for times height which is 15 now all the values that are being multiplied they will be divided on the left hand side so I will have 392 divided by pi times 15 and is equals to r square square on the other hand side will become square root or 1 over 2 squared okay and both will give you the same answer and finally you will have r is equals to 2.884 and so on finally r is equals to 2.9 to 1 dp okay thanks for watching